Hi, I decided to pop on for a second. Um, I'm Jamie, by the way, for all of our new members. And I wanted to talk about a popular misconception that I talk about a lot um, with parents of my clients. And it's about this idea that a lot of parents believe that their daughter developed social anxiety because of something they did or didn't do as parents. Now, I think this is totally false. If that sets your mind at ease at all, I don't believe that whatsoever. I think maybe the easiest way to start understanding is comparing social anxiety to depression. And most people understand or agree with the fact that sometimes depression can be chemical. It can be a chemical depression or it can be a situational depression, meaning um, someone's going through just a hard time. Anxiety is similar in my beliefs. Either it's a biological reason for anxiety, which has nothing to do with parenting, or it's based on the fact that maybe some trauma happened somewhere along the line. And sometimes this trauma can be huge, um, like a loss of a, loss of a loved one or um, a divorce or split families um, or a move across the country. And sometimes these traumas can be smaller and harder to spot. Perhaps your daughter doesn't even mention them. And it might be things like um, an argument with a friend at lunch or being iced out by a group of girls who were her best friends but now all of a sudden won't talk to her and she's not really sure why. So those smaller traumas um, are really painful for girls and they keep those things inside. And what happens, in my opinion, and after hundreds of hours of talking to girls with social anxiety, is what happens is that there is a crack that is put in their confidence. And this crack allows some negative thinking to seep in and um, some lies to kind of be taken as truth. And once girls start that negative shift towards thinking maybe they're not good enough for their friends or their friends don't really like them or their friends think they're boring or they're not pretty enough or smart enough or funny enough or enough, um, once those thoughts seep into their consciousness, they attract more negative thoughts. So I think that social anxiety develops over time where what was just one hard thought because of one hard situation becomes sort of, um, if you will, like a pair of goggles that they look at their world through, uh, a negative tinted pair of goggles, the opposite of having rose colored glasses. I hope that makes sense. So I, in no instance, or in very rare instances, would I ever, ever think that it was a parent's fault that their daughter developed social anxiety. Uh, and I hope that sets your mind at ease. I did a fun little poll, I don't know if it showed up, again, I'm learning, um, as to whether or not this thought has ever crossed your mind. Um, did I do something to cause my daughter social anxiety? So if you've ever had that thought, please just quickly answer yes on that poll. And if you haven't, that's okay too, just let me know no, so I can see how many of you are worried about this if you would like to book a call with me of course we can talk about this in more detail but a huge part of what I do with girls who struggle with social anxiety is help them retrain their brain to have more positive thoughts it's not as hard as it seems in fact it's actually very simple um, but it's not easy meaning it takes time just as they've been practicing these negative thought patterns for months sometimes years they have to work diligently to choose a more positive thought process and there's um, ways that I've developed over the course of the 19 years I've had working with teenagers that I've made that pretty crystal clear for them and it, I've had some amazing results so I just wanted to pop on after getting off a really sad call with a mom who had completely blamed herself for her daughter's social anxiety uh, I thought maybe I'll just take a second to hopefully set your minds at ease and let you know that I don't believe it's your fault what whatsoever. So happy Friday. I hope you're having a good weekend and I look forward to getting to know you as um, we go forward in this group. Thanks for listening. Bye.